Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Welcome to video number three in the Couch to Quilt series, Getting to Know Your Sewing Machine. Now for all of us, our sewing machines are going to be a little different, but to make this, all you have to do is have one that runs. And so any type of machine will work, we're good to go. But there's a lot of things that we have in common, so I thought I would just run through some of those for you. They're all gonna come with some type of a power cord. You need something to be able to plug it in. And you're also gonna have a foot pedal that has a cord that has to plug in the machine. On the end of our machine right here, you'll see there are several places uh, to plug things in. Our power cord goes right here in this back one. Our foot pedal is going to go over here in this one, and for a lot of you, you might not know, but your machine has an off-on switch too, so we're going to turn that on, and the whole thing's going to come to life. So let's talk about some of the things that are going to be similar. You're going to get thread in your box, and you're going to need to thread your machine. You'll find that information in your owner's manual, and if you don't have an owner's manual, you can actually Google it and download an owner's manual to your machine. Just about every company will do that for you. So our thread is going to thread here, and our directions for threading are right here on the front. You're also going to need a bobbin. Here's what ours looks like. And this is where we wind our bobbin, right up here at the top. And you'll need, once that's wound, it'll go right down here under the needle. And you're going to need a needle. So our needles come in little cases like this, and they have a flat side on them. And so they will only, you'll only be able to put them in one way. You know, you'll turn it and all of a sudden it'll release and go up because they have that flat side. So you're going to unscrew this little bar right here. I'll turn it down a little bit so you can see it. See this little bar right here? This is called the needle bar. There's generally going to be a screw on the end of that. You're going to turn that. The needle's going to drop and you're going to be able to put your new needle in just like that. These little feet underneath here is called the presser foot. And you are able to raise and lower those with a lever on the back here, right here. You just raise it up, that raises them up, you put your fabric underneath and you raise it down. And it'll become really natural to you as you're sewing along to be able just to reach through there, you know, and grab that lever and put it up. That becomes just part of our automatic uh, uh, movement. So once you become familiar with your machine and it feels comfortable to you, you wanna practice stitching on it and so that you can make sure that you have the control you need. To do that, I use lined paper. You can take a plain piece of paper and draw lines on it or binder paper and just practice with no thread, just staying, sewing along and staying on that line. And that will give you the control you need to be able to handle the fabric. So now that we're comfortable with our machines, it's time to start designing our quilt.